So the lineups for Fiji versus Portugal have been announced. The Fijians go on very strong for this game, knowing that they only need the one point to be able to advance to the quarterfinals. We'll jump straight into it. The Fijian starting lineup for this week. It is number one, Roni Maui. Number two, Sam Matavisi. And number three, Luke Tangi. Now, I have to say, the biggest surprise there, of course, is Sam Matavisi. He had a bit of a rough game up against the Australians. He had an extremely rough game up against Georgia last week. They didn't decide to back Ikenaveri in the starting side, so I assume that is down to them, hoping that Matavisi finds form. But the problem is, if he doesn't, they could find themselves with a very close game here. The lineouts are so important for the Fijians. That is something that Ikenaveri did well off the bench, and luckily he is off the bench for this contest as well for the Flying Fijians. In the lock and draw, it will be Asoana Silasila. At number four, with number five being Timo Mayanavanua. So the change of Te Ehuaru Rikadavita, he will be coming off the bench rather than being in the starting side in the loose board trio. Meri Alangi, his first chance throughout this Rugby World Cup competition, he will be at number six. Number seven, they have stuck with Lavani Botia. And number eight, they have also stuck with Viliami Mata. So the only change there in the loose board trio is Lakima Tangi Tangi Valu. He is being rested. For this game, so no sign of him in the lineup in the back line. Number nine going back to Frank Lamani. No Kuravuli in the starting lineup or reserves. I actually did predict it. I said they would start Lamani. They'd have Penny Matawalu coming off the bench, and that is exactly what the Fijians have done. And also a new change in number 10. It is Villamoni Botitu getting his first start for the Fijians. Throughout this Rugby World Cup, out on the left wing, it is Vanaya Habosi. In the centres, Joshua Tuisova at number 12. And number 13, Y.C. the Levu, who is also the captain for this game. No semi Radradra to be expected, I would say. They do want to rest him, have him fresh for their next contest. There were also rumours that he had a little bit of an injury. I'm not too sure how true they were, but if that is the case, very strategic to leave him out. For this game, number 14, they have stuck with Salisteno Ravatamanda. And then number 15, to close out this side, it will not be Eliza Droasisi. He is being rested as well. And instead, Sorelli Mungwala is the man who does get that fullback opportunity. Looking through at the bench, number 16, Tavita Ikenaveri. Number 17, Penny Ravai. And number 18, Masaki Donge. No real surprises there. I guess other than, like I mentioned earlier on, the fact that Ikenaveri coming off the bench. Rather than starting, number 19, Te Ahuaru Thirikadavita. Number 20, they have got Albert Tuisui. So they have decided to keep him off the bench three weeks in a row. Does look very physical when he makes his way onto the field. And also with the fact that he can play loose forward or lock makes him very versatile to be coming off the bench. Number 21, Penny Matawalu. Number 22, Tite Teller. And then number 23 to close out this side. It is Osefu Masi, a Fijian draw superstar. Scores tries for fun. We'll be able to do the same up against the Portuguese here, but speaking of Portugal, they did have their last game up against the Australians. They were defeated by 20 points, putting in a decent showing, and they'll be able to do exactly that up against this Fijian side as well. I should mention for the Portuguese, they cannot go through to the quarterfinals, but they can still make a real impact in terms of who does make their way through to the next stage in the front row. It is Francisco Fernandez at number one. He did come off the bench in the last contest back. And the starting side here, number two, Mike Tajir. And then number three, Diogo Hassi Ferreira to close out. The front row in the lock and jaw is number four, Jose Madeira. And number five, it is Stevie Jaquera. Number six, they have gone with David Wallace, a man who did start in the last game up against the Australians. Number seven, it is Nicolas Martins. And then number eight, Rafael Samos in the back line. Samuel Marquez, he was actually one of the standouts for the Portuguese in their last fixture. Very nice distribution from him, giving the ball off to the Portuguese backs. And that is one thing that Portugal, I feel like some people haven't given them enough credit for. When they get it through their hands in their back line, it's very crisp and it can lead to a great attacking scenario. So Fiji's defense, of course, will want to be just as strong as the Fijian attack. Number 10, it is Geronimo Portela. Out on the left wing, they have stuck with Rodrigo Mata. As that number 11 in the centres, it is Jose Lima as the captain, rather than Thomas Appleton, who will be coming off the bench. Number 13, Pedro Betancourt, so he keeps his spot in the starting lineup. Number 14, Rafael Storti, and then at number 15 to close out the side, Manuel 
Cardoso Pinto will be playing fullback for Portugal in this match. In the reserves, number 16, David Costa. Number 17, Duarte Dines. And then number 18, Anthony Alves. Number 19, Duarte Torgo. Number 20, it is João Granite. Number 21, João Bello. Then 22, Thomas Appleton, the man that I mentioned a bit earlier on. I assume that he will be the straight swap for Jose Lima. So they will probably exchange captaincies as they make their way off the field. And then a number 23 to close out this Portuguese side. It is Vincent Pinto. But this game is going to be kicking off at 8 a.m. on Monday morning here in New Zealand. Should be an epic clash. Like I mentioned, the Fijians, they either need a win or to walk away from that game with at least one bonus point if they do want to make their way through to the quarterfinals where they will be taking on England. But we will be doing the live commentary on the channel, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the lineups in the comments down below, and I will see you all for the next one.